Hey my squidlings, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be demoing and reviewing this uh, wood panel. Um, this is a unprimed basswood artist panel by Ampersand and this is one of their value series panels. Um, so according to this, it is the better wood panel, sanded perfectly smooth, no seams or raised fibers, ultra stable plywood top, it won't flex, simple to hang and frame, uh, great for all around painting grounds, excellent for mixed media, collage, encaustics, wood engraving, and craft projects. Uh, the one I have here is 6 by 6 inches. It is a cradled 7 eighths of an inch profile. And uh, yeah. So anyway, here's what it looks like. It has some nice detail in the, um, like the grain of the wood. It looks really nice. Then in the back here you can see that it's got like a hole. Like, you know, it's like really thick and stuff. Um, and it looks really, really nice. It feels pretty sturdy too. So on the back here it says this panel is handcrafted using a non-flexible basswood top, sanded perfectly smooth, and is ready to seal and prime with the ground of your choice. Unlike other plywood panels, you don't have to worry about knots, seams, or excessive wood grain on the basswood plywood top. The fine uniform characteristics of basswood offer a better, more uniform finish. The thick, durable basswood plywood top gives you superior stability. It will not flex even with heavy paint and wax layers. The support frames are made with quality solid pine that can be finished with paint or stain. To hang, simply attach hanging hardware to the cradle frame or display in a traditional canvas or floater frame. Ampersand strongly recommends that all unprimed wood panels should be sealed and primed before painting or mounting prints. Um, for proper sealing and priming instructions, visit www.sealandprime.com. Ampersand wood panels are more dimensionally stable and will not sag or crack over time and are a conservator's first choice for a painting support. And their guarantee at Ampersand, they take great care in manufacturing to the highest quality standards. If for any reason you find a defect that inhibits or affects the quality of your work, they will gladly replace your panel because they're super awesome. Um, I want to go ahead and say that this was sent to me free for a review. Uh, I reached out to them and they were super generous and sent me a bunch of panels. And this, unfortunately, is the last one that I own that they have sent me. Uh, but alas, I have loved everything that I've tested. They make some super duper good quality panels. I've never painted on a wood panel before, so I'm super excited. And before I get into anything else, I will go ahead and tell you that. I will leave their website link as well as a link to where you can find this if you want to get it or whatever or check it out uh, in the description below so don't forget to check that out all right so now we can open it that was loud all right so here it is it's just a wood panel very nice I like the feel of it uh, and I cannot wait to get to you know, testing it out and talking to you a little bit further about my experiences using it and the rating and all that stuff. So I suppose we could just go head over there and get to doing that. So I hope to see you over there. All right, so first off, I started out by priming this board with some matte medium. As you can see here, I showed you that it's my speedball matte medium. Um, I used more than one layer. I know I showed you only one layer, but I used about three to four layers. I don't remember. I think it was three, but maybe it was four. I don't know. But anyway, um, I just like to keep it smooth, and you can use anything you want. You can use gesso, you can use anything really, it just, matte medium happens to be my preference. So anyway, I am painting Lapis Lazuli, or however you say that, from Steven Universe. Now, no, I don't watch Steven Universe, but I really, really love her design, and I have some friends that like to watch it, and I kind of get, you know, I hear about it a lot and stuff, so <laughs> they talk about it a lot. So. Which is nothing wrong with that, they enjoy it, so whatever. But anyway, um, yes, she looks really scary right about now, and this painting actually stays looking scary until the very end. Um, just because I painted it weirdly, I don't know, I, I painted it, the sections weird. I want to say that painting on wood is super fun. Uh, this board was great. It was just a nice basswood board, it feels super sturdy, it was super smooth. I mean, I loved painting on it, and I like the wood grain and the fact that you can kind of see it through some of your paint layers unless you have really heavy paint layers. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I really like painting on this board. Um, so one thing I want to talk to you guys about first and foremost is the fact that this is going up on a Sunday. Uh, why, you may ask, is because I've been having some problems with my video editor and I don't really know why this clip is flipped. It, that shouldn't be flipped, but it is. I don't know. Anyway, um, I had some problems with my video editor, and so I had to get a new one, and it's really frustrating, but 
whatever. It's just uh, frustrating. Anyway, uh, so that's why it is up on a Sunday instead of a Saturday like normal. Um, but don't worry. We're going back to normal schedules this week. So, yeah. Anyway, though. Uh, so I am just painting her face and stuff. And oh my gosh, how long is this clip? It's flipped and it's frustrating me. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, um, so I was gonna just paint flat colors, and I still kind of did, but I went ahead and outlined everything in, like, a darker color, which I think looked really good, you know, as later on. And then I did add some simple shading, uh, it's really not much, I wanted to keep this piece super simple. Ah, it's finally back to the normal flip. Anyway, um, I really enjoy how this came out. I think it's cute, you know, you can see her little gem, and she's all blue, and I really wanted to paint her also because she's all blue, and it was definitely like a monochrome challenge for me a little bit, and, uh, I like the challenge. Uh, her face, it does change from what you see in the actual painting to the end product because I did work on it after I finished filming just because I couldn't get it to look right, it was frustrating me, and, uh, yeah, just frustrating. I had a lot of frustrations, um, but this made me realize that I need to practice more in acrylics because I'm still not as good as I want to be in them, and, uh, it's been a while since I actually painted in them, so that's probably the culprit. <laughs> so, anywho, I want to go ahead and rate the board before I, you know, end the video, and I have to say, this was super fun to paint on. I've never painted on wood before. Uh, definitely give this a 8.5. It was great. Uh, you have to prime it first, which is kind of meh, which isn't really surprising considering it's just like a wood panel. But it was really fun. There was no nicks or anything that I felt inhibited my art. And I really had a fun time using it. It was super great. Um, and I love the wood grain that you can see. But anyway, as this video is wrapping up, I want to go ahead and thank you guys so, so much for watching. And don't forget, you can follow me on DeviantArt, Page World, Twitter, and Instagram. All of my links are down in the description below. And don't forget to join our cute little squid army if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!